So we're ready? Okay. I usually do like a little, want to do it with me? A little, okay. Please. Guys, welcome back. Episode 7 of the Safari Pedals Show. Episode 7 of the Safari Pedals Show. Embarrassing. <laughs> I'm your host, Abby. And today in the studio, we have a very special guest. So everybody, please welcome Ami to the show. Hi. So who are you? Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Ami. I'm a sound engineer, mixing engineer, and I'm a huge Safari Pedals fan. Do you think that you're the biggest fan of Safari Pedals? I think not the biggest, but like I do have like a vintage uh, Safari sticker. Can you show the the people, the oh, studio yeah. animals, your sticker? So, so this is like a really, really old one. Wow. Yeah, it's I think like maybe 15, 15 years old. Wow. From yeah. Like like from just from the, when the idea even started. Wow, I heard that vintage safari stickers like that today go for like millions of dollars. Yeah, so. yeah, they sell it on eBay. Wow, I yeah, have to get me one of those. Crazy. It's like crazy. Yeah. I'm collecting them and then I plan to get rich one wow. day from these stickers. That's such a good one. <laughs> like, funny, I should have thought about that. Today, amazing Studio Animal viewers, I've prepared a crazy wild safari challenge for me. I'm so nervous. I know. Okay. And for our segment challenge today, it is called Guess the Plugin. Woo! <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. How is this going to work? Using one sample that I will play for you shortly, I created four different very sounding obscure sounds out of the same sample one of them every version i used one safari pedals plugin to manipulate the sound and make it sound a little bit crazy and your job today is to guess the plugin oh my and god i know crazy stuff yeah do you consider yourself familiar with since you're a super fan of safari would you yeah. say that you know the plugins well yeah, I mean, I I use a lot of them in my in my mixes, and I really like I really love them. There are some of them that I don't know like super well, so I'm kind of nervous like to not guess right. But uh, but it will be fun. It will. Be it's okay. gonna be fun. Yeah. So, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play the sample, dry, no effects, no nothing. Okay. And I'm going to just loop it so everyone can hear. And then we'll start with sound one. Very inspirational sounding, I know. Wait, this is the, the dry one? Mm-hmm. Okay. I might need to close my eyes to yeah. concentrate. Okay. Okay. That's the original sample. Okay. Okay. Sound one. Uh... Let's do it. This is sound one. Okay. I think, I'm not sure, but I think maybe it's the dirty dog. Ooh. Good I guess. Know. Why do you think it's the dirty dog? I don't know. Something sounds like a bit... Like... Yeah. Like... But I'm also, I don't, I'm not sure. Like, I, uh, or the dirty dog or like maybe... Maybe the yuck. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's less as dirty as I thought that it would. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. Smart. Uh, I don't know. Not easy. I'll go, I'll go with the dirty dog. The dirty dog? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. not the dirty dog. Oh, uh, what is it? Okay. <gasps> so for the sound. Oh my God. We have. The Fox Echo Chorus. Oh my we'll goodness. We'll attach picture here oh, in the middle. Fox Echo such Chorus. Such a fail. But it's hard and I'm going to give you credit for your okay. guesses because I will also say for anybody who is unfamiliar and joining us for the first time, in most of the plugins that Safari has, there's drive knobs. Yeah. Like lots of overdrive. So it makes sense. Your, yeah. your thought process was good. Round two. Round two. Let's do it. Original sample first. Okay. You got this. Sound two. The rhino. Because it's like kind of like a bit like lo-fi. I don't know. I think maybe. 
Is that your final guess? You're submitting? Yes, that's my final guess. Her final guess is Rhino Reverb. Yeah. Picture attached here. <gasps> it is not the Rhino Reverb. Oh ah, close, close, close. Flamingo. It's Flamingo. Fuck. Was that in your head also? Yeah, of course, but like, mm, okay. Close, but that was good. Yeah. Guys, she's doing well. Yeah. She's doing well. Yeah, not so. Not we're so we're well, halfway, so like, you, can, you can get two. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay we're on to sound three. Okay, 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 okay. So what do we have now? I need to like remember again, like all of the the plugins. Yeah, all of them. Okay, so we already had okay the flamingo. So flamingo is out, and fox echo is out. Is okay, out. should I give you a list of the possible ones? It is because I only made f there's four sounds, four sounds all together. So so not all okay, the plugins. So not the rhino, not the rhino, not oh, the wait. limiter. Oh no, wait. All right. Okay. I just might Okay. Mm, okay. There's no Lion Master in okay. this challenge. There's no Gorilla Drive. There's mm. no Owl Control. There is no. That's it. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Okay. The hints are done. Back to the challenge. Okay. 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 So it can be Time Machine Yuck. Not the Time Machine. Time Machine Yuck. What else? Okay, maybe the maybe the uh, maybe the yak, maybe. Is that yeah. your answer? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yak delay. Yeah, it's yak delay. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh shit. I'm not a total. Oh snap. Like, yeah. Wow. Wow. Cool. I'm happy. Good. That yeah. was good. I feel like a bit better. Do you feel better about yourself yeah. now? That's amazing. Okay. She's a champion already. All right. You're a champion, a safari champion. Uh, just one point. That's good. Okay. Okay. Get in tune with the safari gods. Yes, summoning all the safari animals. Mm. Mm. Okay. Last one of the day. Okay. <laughs> mm, dirty, dirty dog. Maybe. It wait, 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 wait. Not the flamingo, not the yak, not, not the rhino. No, wait. Hey, let me hear that one again. She's on to something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the rhino. It sounds like the rhino. It is the rhino. Oh my it God. is the rhino. Wow. wow. I can't believe it. Two out of four. Two out of four, it's like like halfway there. I think that you're... It's like a good enough. I think it's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So guys, I think we have a safari champion in the house. And half, also half a champion. Half a champion. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Yeah, it was fun actually. It was fun. And I'm like I'm really not like a like contest uh, challenge person. Like I'm always like super nervous about it, but it was like light and fun and uh, and it made my day. Like, oh, yeah. yay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. That's awesome. Guys, I guess we're wrapping up the challenge. Thank you to Ami for coming out to the podcast. Thank Please you. give her a safari round of the applause. And um, until next time, uh, we'll see you soon sometime. Catch us uh, next time. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I don't know how to say subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Like and subscribe Subs and subscribe. and subscribe. Yeah. Sub Sub subscribe. subscribe. And please, if you would like to know when we put out episodes, you can hit the notification bell below and there'll be lots more of crazy wild safari content. So Yay. stay tuned. Woo! Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I had the best time. I don't mind. I don't mind talking. We can discuss for yeah. for a hot minute. When I went to to school here in Pluto, and I had this teacher, and he was like, he had this like huge uh, like thing where he was saying to people like, "Yeah, where do you see yourself in five years?" And everyone were like, "Ah, oh, I want to have a studio in LA. I want to work with rappers. I want to move to I don't know Tijuana." Like yeah. each person had like his like vision. 
And then he was asking me, like, what do you want to, where do you see yourself in five years? And I was like, I have no idea. Like, I don't know. And then he told me, okay, just like pick something, like what you want to be or where you want to see yourself. Just doesn't matter if you like really feel it right now at the moment or not. And just, just choose that, that you're going to like give it a, a try to give it a shot for the next five years. And when people will ask you like, hey, Ami, uh, who are you? What are you doing like for a living? Then you need to like answer them in confidence what you're doing yeah. so i was like okay i'm gonna like when i first heard it it sounded kind of weird to me but then i was like okay again i'm gonna give it a shot and when people were asking me like what do you do for a living i was like yeah i'm a me i'm a sound engineer i do mixing and i started to like slowly believing in in it like yeah, yeah this is me this is what i do and and it was a cool tip because that way I began to get like job offers and people calling wow. me and messages because like when you start to present yourself to the world, then you kind of like summon, yeah, summon money, summon, so, summon some, jobs, and, the like, jobs opportunities. And because you're like saying, yeah, I'm out here and like, this is what I do. And it doesn't matter really if you're not sure about it just yet. Yeah. yeah so, um, but I think it's good because I feel like in music, especially, Like, if you look at any other area of work, it's, like, there's, it's, like, there's, like, specialties. But yeah. I feel like in music, it's, like, sometimes you'll ask someone, what do you do? They're, like, I'm a producer, sound engineer, yeah. or artist. But, like, I think the fact that you, like, you, like, decided on a title and yeah. then kind of went with it, it also gave people kind of a chance to understand. Because I feel like if I, maybe, like... I guess I'm coming from a assumption thing, but like if I'm an artist looking to work with someone and someone kind of is like, oh yeah, I'm a mix engineer. Yeah. They have confidence in their title and not like, I'm a producer. Like, yeah. you can still do all those things, but like the fact that a title was there, yeah. like it's like... It gives like some kind of uh, like, I don't know, um, power. Power. And also, like to me, I feel like if I'm not like... 99% I feel like I have 99% uh, like a, a professional uh, skills or like I'm not at the top 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 master then I'm like I'm saying that I used to think that if I don't have 99% skill like professional mixing yeah. engineering skills then I, I can't say about myself that I'm a mixing engineer because yeah. it's I'm not there yet and then when I met this like a teacher at school it changed my perspective like it was like okay you don't have to be like 100 amazing at what you do and know every tiny little knob in the studio just to say that this is your profession because like we study as we as, as we, we grow. grow so yeah yeah and everyone starts somewhere yeah so yeah i i uh, encourage uh, All the studio animals. All the studio. Uh, all our studio all animals. All of you studio yeah. animals. In the jungle. In the jungle. Yeah. In the audio jungle. To, to just like. Choose a title. Start to tell themselves and to tell the world yeah. like. This is me. This is what I do. I think that's amazing advice. And yeah. I think you'll inspire some. Yeah. Studio animals in the audio jungle. So thank yeah. you. In the audio jungle. That's cool. The audio <laughs> jungle. This is turning into a whole new episode. This yeah, is so this fun. This is like. Okay. women in the business okay another point that i wanted to um get to and talk about and i feel like it's even more relevant to ask you because you're like engineer yeah. and i yeah. feel like it's like i don't see like until i got to pluto i never heard i never saw like a woman mix engineer like yeah. i just never have it i listened to lots of audio podcasts and i did before and i just I didn't think it existed and then I got here and it's like all the engineers are what so like yeah. how does it feel for you to be like in an industry of like mostly dudes almost everyone yeah um it's it's funny um I don't know if funny is the word but like okay when I started to okay when I went to school we were like five girls in in oh. our class which is it sounds like not a lot but it's quite a lot like a class of 25 people 
So, so that was the first time I met like other girls that are like into sound engineering. And then when I started working, we were only like, um, like there were only boys. Wow. And then just like me and Tal, two girls uh, in the studio. So there was a very like, uh, I don't know, like a boyish vibe, you know, every day they're eating hummus <laughs> and like, mm, and like yeah. uh, carrying heavy stuff. And I felt like, whoa, where am I? Yeah. Um, like, was it, did it feel intimidating kind of? Like, not, was it f- like, n- not intimidating, but I did feel like this need to like prove uh, this like, that I can do it, that like I can carry heavy stuff, that I can be, uh, because I felt like insecure because I just started yeah. working. I felt the need to like prove myself uh, that I'm equal. And, and it's, I'm talking like very like real stuff yeah. here. Yeah. So, so I felt that kind of vibe. And, and so I did. And I was like wearing like, heavy like biggie baggy uh, clothes yeah. and like carrying heavy stuff and like being the the dude yeah and but then like after a bit it felt kind of weird because i was like why am i doing that like i don't need to yeah because like it's not me and like i'm a girl and yeah. a woman and i don't need to pretend to be something that i'm not yeah. and i let go of this like act Thing, and I just started to feel more confidence like where I am and yeah. to be myself and like it can be sometimes I did have like um, like sessions where I felt that because I'm a woman and I have long hair and like I'm wearing like girly stuff you know I have like two scrunchies not not one let's appreciate the scrunchies let's please appreciate please scrunchies, appreciate her guys. scrunchies everyone yeah so I did feel like I I have to be assertive like in sessions because people are like producers and like many like I don't I don't know how to say it but like old people <laughs> yeah like they were like okay yeah. she's uh, uh, not yeah. sure she's old like people. professional or not. so I felt this need to like uh, be uh, to, uh, kind of like yeah but still to keep like a feminine side and like to not yeah, yeah and that's like did it help like just over time getting more experiences kind of which just gave you the confidence to just exist and be like okay like this is yeah i am here yeah and now like after like after i i do i have the experience and the knowledge it's really nice to be just a girl in the studio and to have this vibe because people are a lot of time people are telling me like you know it's really nicer to have a, a female engineer in the room because it changes the whole the like vibe. room atmosphere and it gives the artist like a, a I, don't, I don't know how to describe it but like a like a more relaxed uh, environment yeah and so i really embrace this like uh, that's wonderful vibe yeah i really like it now but it it, it takes time i think it takes time yeah yeah it's all part of the process yeah and it's really funny cuz i don't feel like this People are always like, oh, wow, you're a female uh, mixing engineer, sound engineer. That's really rare. There are not a lot, of, a lot of people who do that. But I know like a lot of women that do that, but it's not as much as men. And you just have to find them, kind of. Yeah. And we just have to like support each other to like yeah. do that. Because my dream is like to work with like a lot of, you know, women uh, engineers studio. and like artists and like, yeah. Um, and also like I think I think we'll also see as time goes on like now that I feel like maybe in our generation more girls are getting into production and engineering versus like back then so like interesting to see in a few years like how it'll be what will be Uh, and also like it's cool that now in Pluto when we started we were like there were two uh, women like engineers and now we are like five. Wow. Well, which, which is like is, significant for like the numbers of yeah. like percentage wise. Like we have two uh, 
two boys that are engineers and the rest are girls. Like we're, wow. we're the majority. Guys, now. it's like the, it's revolution. It's the, it's the revolutionary dream team yeah. of engineers. Yeah, cause it's really, really crazy. So, and yeah. I think like maybe if you want to leave a piece of advice to the amazing studio animals watching, yeah. if there are any girls out there who feel intimidated maybe to go to audio school because it's mostly dudes, like yeah. what's yeah, your yeah, piece yeah. of advice to them? I think that they should definitely do it. They should definitely do it. And the, and the guys are cool. Yeah. Just the gu- gotta, guys are, are great. No, you, yeah, but it's just, gotta, just, we are just better. We're just, I'm sorry. We yeah. just gotta give it time. Yeah. It's all a process. Yeah, and, and then don't be afraid to, to give it a shot just because, like, we can do anything better, really. It's just you need the courage to, to start. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll leave it at just start. Go yeah. for it. Just I guess we'll wrap up our second episode. Oh my goodness. Ami's Corner. Um, guys, if you like the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And subscribe. You can hit the notification bell so you never miss a Safari Pedals show episode. Yeah. And we'll catch you next time in the audio jungle. Woo!